Hi guys and welcome back to a new episode of Gagliardi Photography Unboxing. Today I received the package from DHL. It should be the new Apple iPad Mini 6 2021. Let's open the package. And that's it. That's it. It's light, okay. So this is my first impression. It's really beautiful. The first thing I want to do is to compare it with the old iPad mini. The iPad mini is on the right, of course. So it is slightly smaller and about the same dimensions. Now we have to measure the weight. So first the iPad mini, the old iPad mini. Three forty two. Then the new one. 293 so the weight is very good I also bought two uh, brand new cases for my iPad mini this is the first one transparent and very light I think I will use it almost all the time and this this is a full case front and back should be magnetic Let's see what is the weight of these two cases. First one, 154. And then the second one, 70. Very, very good, very, very good. Now we'll try the first one. Very good, doesn't move, I think it's perfect, yes, very very good. The good thing is it, it is magnetic and here we have the place for the pen. Now we remove it, just slide it, take the new one, perfect fit, 
Very, very good. I think I will use it. What I'll do now is to start it for the first time. Now let's complete the configuration. I want to configure it completely manually as a new iPad. I don't want any backup to, to be put on it. And that's it. The new iPad is just configured. And now ready for our tests. As you can see, after the uh, installation, the free space is just 50 gigabyte, not 64. So the operating system occupies about 14 gigabyte. Okay, one more thing, uh, the box contains just the cable and the adapter, nothing more. And another surprise is that the iPad has no no plug for the earphones so you should use USB-C headphones or Bluetooth headphones what uh, I would like to do with my iPad mini 6 is to transfer pictures from my SD card to the SSD hard disk so now the first uh, try we have to do is to transfer the, these files from the SD card to the SSD disk with a MacBook Pro and USB-C. This is the MacBook Pro, USB cable, SD card and a USB hub. Then we have a, an SSD, it's a G drive, one terabyte. So let's do the first test. Okay, we connect the SSD disk. We have a USB and the SD card here. I didn't remember that the USB-C here was only for power, not for data transfer, so I have to remove this cable, insert this new one, and plug it to the USB 3 port.
now we are ready to begin. On the left side we have the SD card, on the right side the SSD hard disk. We have to transfer these three folders So first we will transfer the small one, the Nikon, which is 2 gigabyte and 75. Then uh, we'll use the iPad mini to do the same and see what are the differences. Now the first test we need to do is to check the speed of the USB port. Okay, so what we need to do is to connect the same USB-C hub and transfer the same pictures, the same folders as before. This is our screen and on the left we have Nikon D850 that is in the Sony card reader. We have the Untitled which is an SD card inside the USB hub. And the last one is the SSD Tata which is the SSD RDSDG drive. Very good, less than, than three minutes. I think the speed transfer of the USB port is good, so we can use it to transfer the files, the, the pictures, when we are on holiday. Uh, one of the things uh, I see now is that the battery is drained during this uh, transfer. So, one last try that I want to make is to connect all together, then connect it to the plug and see if the battery is going down or is stable or better is growing. This is the connection. Now, last cable. Okay, it's a good start. 20 gigabyte See you later. We are almost over, so the process is almost finished. The battery was uh, 69, now it is 80, so it is charging correctly. I think uh, we can use it as a transfer procedure. That's it. So about 18 minutes for a 20 gigabyte folder. Not great, but not too bad. Okay, now we'll do the last transfer. We have connected back the USB-C hub 
to the MacBook Pro. And now we'll transfer another time the 20 gigabyte from the SD card to the SSD. Let's do it. Okay, now for the conclusions. I think I am very happy about this, my new iPad mini. When I saw the September 14 event uh, by Apple, the only thing that caught my attention was uh, really the iPad mini. So I am very happy to have bought it. I'm a photographer, so one of my purpose with this new iPad mini is to back up my images and my drone footage when I go on holiday. After the test we made, I think this is a great substitution for a MacBook just to make a, this file transfer because we saw the speed is almost the same. We have to do further tests but I think the, we, we reached a good conclusion. I also bought it to make uh, some YouTube footage as uh, the wide angle front camera as the center stage option that my iPhone 12 Pro doesn't have. So I think it's good to begin with uh, the new center stage feature. Another purpose for me is to read newspapers or watch movies, uh, YouTube videos and I think uh, it would be good. Overall, my impressions are very, very, very good and I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my channel Gagliardi Photography and please push that like button. Thanks and see you on next episode. Bye bye.